I've said it before, Google Forms is not just for giving tests. You can use it to teach them, pairing the videos with the questions to check their understanding, but you can also use it to actually differentiate your instruction for students using data validation built in to Google Forms. Let's take a look. Your first option for differentiation through Google Forms is a great option if you are teaching a small group of students that you know really well. How it works is you have all of their names listed in this first question that's my drop down question. And then you come down here to the three dots and you click go to section based on answer. And then what I can do is I can, for each individual child, select which section they should go to based on their current level of understanding. And it's super easy. You just click the drop down menu and choose which section you want them to go to. Amy needs to review what fractions are. Ben, same thing. Charlie needs to review equivalent fractions. But Doug, when we taught those two sections, he understood it, he got it. So now I can just jump him straight to the new content, adding fractions. And I can go through this for all of my students and tell them which section to go to so that they are getting the instruction or review that they need first. And the benefit to doing something like this through one form is that then you know the students are progressing through in an order that makes sense. They're reviewing what they need to. And by the end of the form, all of the students will have been exposed to the new content. So this is You can also do some built-in data validation functions if you're not sure entirely where the students are at, so you don't know which section to direct them to. So let's look at section two here. Now, the data validation only works for one question per section. So you need to think and pick the question that you feel would be the best question to show you whether or not the students understood. And for this form, this is the question I wanna use for that data validation because I think it's a complicated question. It'll really show me their understanding of equivalent fractions and let me know whether or not they get it. So again, I'll click into the question, three dots in the corner, go to section based on answer, just the same as we did in my drop down list for their names. And this time, if they get the question correct, they're just going to jump to the adding fraction section. And this is great even if you are using the initial name validation to a specific area, because if you have somebody who gets this correct and understands it, then they can jump past that equivalent fraction review and straight to the new content. And then the other three, I'm going to have go to the review for the equivalent fractions. Now, I always choose the specific section I want them to go to, because if I say go to section three, even if I move section three to be section six or wherever it is, it will still take them to the correct place. And then in the taking of the quiz, all my students who get this question correctly will jump immediately to section four and just learn the new materials and they will skip section three entirely. Those who get it wrong will come here and we'll get another video helping them to review. Now, a few things to consider. You'll see up here it says total points is nine, and that is across the entire form. So if you are saying somebody is jumping just to section four, well, they can only see one problem. So they only have the option for getting one point. So either have this just as instructional video, practice, checks, yes, they can see answers right or wrong, but it's not counting those points against them, or only have the graded points for the section that everybody will be completing. The other thing is I would really highly encourage telling your students that they will be going to different sections based on their understanding, because when you do release the scores back to them, they will see the full form and realize they didn't answer all the questions. So just be upfront with them. And they're okay with that. They understand it. These are just some very simple ways to help you give some differentiation to your students so that they're seeing different things. They're a little bit more able to move at their own pace through the forms and do some of that extra practice and review like what we would try and do in the classroom. So good luck with it. Try it out. If you need help, let me know.